Beautiful dreamers, have you ever had the experience of everything in your life coming together? Of just holding that big, beautiful dream of yours right in the palm of your hands, and it feels like life just couldn't be any better. It just, everything is so good. And then it's like you're holding a water in your hands and it just kind of trickles through your fingers. It's like, where is it going? Where's it going? Stop, stop. I'm trying to catch it. You can't, it can't be done. What happened? How could you have your big dream one minute and then the next minute it's just gone? A few different things could be at play here, my friends. The first thing I would like you to look at is the possibility that you kind of created obstacles out of fear, a sense of self-preservation. Your ego always wants to keep you exactly where you are because it thinks it will keep you safe that way. Your ego is your friend. And it's nothing you're ever going to completely get rid of. So you need to be able to work with it. But it might just be triggering some fear. And that fear can create a rocky vibration. And as we know, if your <laughs> vibration is rocky, your life is going to be rocky as well. So take some time and look at that. Are you feeling fearful? Why? Why? Ask yourself those questions and keep digging down until you get some resolution around it. Or even better, do some tapping around it. I love Brad Yates for tapping. It doesn't matter what subject, he's got a video for it. And they're all amazing, so I highly recommend that. What else might be happening? Well, perhaps you've just been kind of barreling through life at kind of a breakneck speed. Because that can happen when everything is clicking along really good and it just everything's falling into place and you're just going faster and faster and faster. And then you hit a speed bump. Maybe it's a very good thing you hit that speed bump because maybe there's a cop just a few blocks up and he's going to nail you, <laughs> you know, or she. <laughs> so there's that possibility. You may be traveling down life's road maybe too quickly for your own good and for the good of those around you. So think about a speed bump. What is it for? It's to slow you down just a bit, just for a while, just so you can check out the situation, assess it. You know, is this really where I want to be going? Maybe there's a detour I need to take. Or maybe I just need to take a beat and let things progress in their own time as I gently roll over that speed bump and then the road is clear for me once again. Another thing that might be happening is perhaps your vibe has just gotten messed up because you're no longer doing the do that got you here. The spiritual practices that bring you to the point of loving your life and having everything that you want you have to keep doing them. <laughs> it's not like you, you now get a certificate, you won, you're, you're done. No, you have to keep maintaining that vibe. It's ongoing. It's never going to, you're never going to be somewhere and you never have to do that again. You need to keep the visualizing going. You need to keep meditating. You need to be in control of your vibration. You need to be monitoring your thoughts and make sure that they're aligned with your intentions for your life. And even taking it further, are you drinking enough water? Are you maybe drinking too much alcohol or using other substances that are messing with your vibe? If your body is not happy, you're going to be lowering your vibration. So just remember, you are creating your reality, but you're also doing that in conjunction with the, the universe and a lot of other people on the planet. You may well be responding to someone else's vibration and thereby bringing your own down in the process. So that's a few things to watch out for. So if this has happened with you, don't worry. That big dream, it's not really gone. Maybe there's a better one for you just around that corner. And your inner GPS is trying to direct you there. It knows like there's maybe a big traffic jam up here. Let's detour around this way. So we keep things smooth and fun and easy and wonderful. So you need to let your GPS do its work. You need to keep continue working on your vibe. You need to look around and see, is there anything that is bringing my vibe down that is messing with my life? And if there is, then you have a choice to make. Do I want that or do I want this big dream? And lastly, the most important thing, when you're doing your visualizing, when you're doing your writing your, your perfect ideal life scenario, don't forget the magic words, this or something better. Because we think we know, we have an idea. We don't really know what's right for us, the best for us. The universe does. 
and it might have something far more grand in store for us, far more satisfying. We have to give it the opportunity to do that. So those few magic words, this or something better, gives the universe the latitude to do just that. So have no fear, my friends, that big dream is not gone. You know, it's not like someone else is gonna get it and now you'll never see it. That's not what's happening here. You just need to just settle yourself back down, make sure you're doing your spiritual practices, maybe get a good night's sleep, maybe just take a vacation, maybe get out in nature, kick those shoes off, connect with mother nature, let her rejuvenate your soul and re-energize your body. And then, you know, that speed bump is going to get smaller and your life will be right back on track once again. So big love, everybody. Hope this has brought you some encouragement and uh, just know you can do this and I'm here to help you and support you. So namaste and we'll talk again real soon. Bye for now.